Okay. And I'm just going to go over and I've turned this on and we're just going to have um, a little conversation all about you. You can just say your name first and last. Chris Parker. Okay, and then spell please. Chris is K-R-I-S, Parker, P-A-R-K-E-R. -E and um, uh, is this your, your last day or it's... Tomorrow is my last so day. So Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Steve Volkert's note said uh, 42 years yes. in the city. In the library. Oh, in the library total. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where was the library when you started and what year was that? When, let's see, 1977 was when I started part-time in children's. And that was over in City Hall, and our library then was where the council chambers are now. The children's library was, they had had uh, run out of room on the main floor with the library, so they had moved it downstairs, and um, yes, I was lucky enough to get hired. <laughs> How young were you? Oh, gosh, I'm trying to think. Well, 42 years ago from 70 is what? Um, I was 20, 28, something like that. Where, did you just come out of school or a different job? Um, no, actually, I, when I started working at the library, I was a stay-at-home mom. I had two kids, and um, my daughter was in second grade, and my son was just going into kindergarten. And so the job came up and Betty Wenzel, who was the director at that time, um, knew that I had kind of been looking for a part-time job. And so she told me they were gonna be hiring in children's and I should come and fill out an application. And um, the children's librarian at that time was Frances Rotes, who I had actually had as my brownie leader when I was a kid. <laughs> so it all worked out very well. And then I was in children's for six years, and then the cataloging position opened up in the adult library. And so I applied for that and then got that. So I've, I've been full-time then since then. Who was the mayor when you were hired? I think it was... Oh, gee, I can't think. That's okay, you can come back to it. Okay. What was maybe... Um, one of the popular books at the time. Popular books at the time, jeez. I see so many books in a day, every day. It's hard for me to, hard for me to, to think back that far. Or maybe even some of the reading trends or um, things that you remember just uh, from the era, was it like, uh, was Mr. Rogers just debuting or he was a big influence? Mr. Rogers was a, was a big Sesame Street, obviously. And, you know, because I worked in children's too at that time, you know, a lot of the Disney books, that's I think when they first started with some of the princess movies and stuff like that, so. How is, um, uh, children's library changed or the library overall uh, changed in all these years? Um, they do a lot more programming now than we did. We had like one story time a week. I think it was on a Wednesday morning if I remember right. And then in the summertime we'd have uh, like a summer reading program. But it was just one, you know, like one time. One time for the little kids, one time for the big kids. Now they've got programming, they've got on Tuesday, they've got Wednesday, they've got um, Legos once a month where the kids come in after school and, and have thousands of Legos they can be creative with. And um, also it's, they're doing more with the young adult kids, the teenage, younger teenage kids than they were when I was there. We had a section, but we didn't really, really do too much with it. Now they have programming for them too, which is a good idea, I think. Let me just 